And on Friday, the fighting still continues between Hamas and Israel. And as you can see with the headline, Jerusalem has been fired upon now. This is just a picture of uh, the Israeli family in a bomb shelter in Ashkelon. The gist of your article is the Palestinian militants have fired a rocket aimed at Jerusalem on Friday, setting off the air raid sirens throughout the city and opening a new front in three days of fighting between Israel and armed groups in the Gaza Strip. The Israeli campaign has been limited to airstrikes, but military officials say they're considering expanding into a ground campaign. Lieutenant Leibovich, a military spokeswoman, said the military had called 16,000 reservists to duty on Friday as it geared up for a possible ground offensive. She said the Army has the authority to draft an additional 14,000 soldiers, which would make a total of 30. She would not say where the troops were deployed. There's also reports of the number of possibly going up to 75,000 troops. She said the army had, a, uh, excuse me, as an air raid sirens went off in Jerusalem, witnesses said they saw a stream of smoke in Meseret Zion, a Jerusalem suburb. Israeli police spokesman Mickey Rosenfeld said the rocket landed in an open area near Gash Ezion, a collection of Jewish settlements in the West Bank, southeast of the city. An attack on Israel's self-declared capital marks a major escalation by Gaza militants, both for its symbolism and its distance from the Palestinian territory. Located about 50 miles away from the Gaza border, Jerusalem had been thought to be beyond the range of Gaza rocket squads. Abu Obeda, Obeda spokesman for the Hamas militant wing said the group had fired a long-range rocket in Jerusalem. We are sending a short and simple message. You need to understand what they're saying and realize the hate in their heart. There is no security for any Zionist on any single inch of Palestinian, Palestine and we plan more surprises. A Moss official said the rocket was a homemade M75, a weapon that has never been fired before. It is also a gamble for the militants. Gush Ezion is close to the Palestinian city of Bethlehem and just miles from the revered Alaska Mosque in Jerusalem's old city one of the Islam's holiest sites, and the Jews call the compound the Temple Mount because of the biblical Jewish temples that once stood there. And hundreds of thousands of Palestinians live in Jerusalem and nearby areas of the West Bank. Militants already fired rockets yesterday, Thursday, in the southern outskirts of Tel Aviv, another unprecedented achievement. The rocket attacks have not hurt anyone in the bustling metropolis, but have caused panic and jitters. And a few years ago, Palestinian rockets were limited to crude, homemade devices manufactured in Gaza. But in the recent years, Hamas and other armed groups, other armed groups, unnamed other armed groups, have smuggled in sophisticated, longer range rockets from Iran and Libya, which has been flush with weapons since Gaddafi was ousted. Well, he wasn't actually ousted, he was killed. You know, you could call that ousting. He's not there anymore. Most of the rockets do not have guided systems, limiting their accuracy. Though Israeli officials believe the militants may have a small number of guided missiles that have not yet been deployed. The strike occurred on the third day of an Israeli offensive in Gaza meant to halt rocket fire from the crowded seaside strip. 
Israel began the offensive Wednesday by assassinating Hamas military chief and striking dozens of rocket launchers. But the militants, Hamas, and unnamed others that may be collaborating, mainly Hamas, have continued to rain rockets across Israel. The military spokesman, spokeswoman, said no decision has been made on whether to send the troop, ground troops or how long the Israeli offensive will last. Leibovitch said all options are open, including ground operation. Along the border Friday, today, tanks, armored vehicles, and military bulldozers were parked in neat rows. Soldiers milled about while buses filled with soldiers moved into the area. Hamas militants have vowed to resist the Israeli offensive. They received a boost of solidarity on Friday with a visit by ta -ta -da, ta -ta 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 -ta, Egypt's Prime Minister Hisham Kandil, who called on Israel to end its operation. Egypt, which is now basically should just change their name to Muslim Brotherhood. In all, 23 Palestinians have been killed, including 11 civilians. According to the Gaza health officials, and 250 people wounded. Three Israelis were killed when a rocket hit an apartment building in southern Israel. So it is affirmed Egypt, the Hamas militants, have received a boost of solidarity from Egypt. <clears throat> what did I try to tell you all along? You got to listen and you got to understand and get the big picture. Hasim Burak, guilty of the things that he had done throughout the years of his reign, was still not as bad as the dirt balls that are now in charge. Hasim Burak helped to keep all these scumbags, other scumbags, Hamas militants, Hezbollah, the whole nine yards around there, at bay, so that this kind of stuff here wouldn't happen. That's why he's been taken out, so that this kind of stuff here can happen. You see? Even when Gaddafi was in there, you know, Libya was still held back because this, even a guy like Hasi Mubarak helped to hold them back because he was trying to help keep the peace and stability in the Middle East. You can believe whatever you want. It's not what you believe that matters. It's the truth and the real deal and the reality that you can't change. You can think what you think and it'll be a fantasy of just your own personal idea. You have to look at what the reality of the situation has been, is, and will be. And this is reality. <coughs> the situation has escalated. Obama's done nothing but pander to to Islam and Muslims. And it will get worse. Maybe not this particular incident here, but this solidarity, <clears throat> that little piece in there where Egypt shows their solidarity for militants against Israel, that will get better, or excuse me, worse. I didn't mean better. It will get worse as we go farther in time down the line. There's markers in the road in God's prophetic word. This all has to happen though to reach the end. And just like an uh, example would be uh, Christ suffered under Pontius Pilate, which was a bad thing, right? The crucifixion was painful and bloody and suffering 
and it was a terrible thing to, to kill him, right? But yet in the larger big picture, a bad thing had to happen for an ultimate good thing to occur because now we're all washed by the sacrifice and the shed blood of Jesus and can have our sins forgiven. And if we earnestly try to live a good life and pray for forgiveness and realize what we've done wrong and ask and say we're sorry, it can be. And that unlocked the gates of heaven so that everyone who does like I just said can enter and enjoy the promise of, and the gift of paradise. But without the bad thing happening, there would have never been entryway into heaven. So, you see where I'm going with? You get what I mean? These wars have to play out. God uses everything at His disposal. You know, bad guys think they've got their own little plan, bad guy plan. And to them, it is. And to us, it may look like it. But the bad guy plan plays into the entire thing that God has, has uh, told us. Because it all reaches a final point. And the final point is evil is rid from the world and the return of Christ. So, keep your eyes up, open. Read all you can. You can pull the truth from the lies if you watch television. But don't just uh, turn a deaf ear or a blind eye to the situation because it does affect us all because it's God's plan working right in front of you. And this is just, uh, it should be a big, you know, it should be a big signal to everyone that things are changing. And just like 2012, change. End of the age, reset the calendar of the Maya, enter into a new age. 2012 filled with great change. We're not even done. We're not even to the end of November yet. They've already began situations like this. And now you've seen historic attacks. Hadn't happened in years and years. So, he comes on a cloud with his angels and the saints. They'll keep looking up interesting things signs in, in the sky all you can do is pay attention God bless everyone I hope you have a fine weekend if I can pull any more accurate information updates upon this situation I'll put them out there as soon as I can but this is my focal point right now there's a situation upon the most important nation on this planet. If you want to see where we're going next, you just pay attention to Israel, like I've said all along. So I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.